And as you can see, we have the latest versions of main DSP uh, TFT. What we're seeing here is a phantom line that is showing up typically at the plus 30 K frequency line. And the reason that there's no other noise on this waterfall is that we are using antenna two. Antenna two is set up uh, connected to a dummy load 300 watt a brand new unit from MFJ, I think it's called. And it clearly shows that we have a transparent or a phantom signal coming in, even when there is no signal coming in on the antenna at all. And if I go back to scope, scope please, uh, full scope. And if I turn my frequency, you can see the frequency changing but this simply does not change. I'm not sure what that little line is there, but that doesn't change. And if I go, say, down to 1.8, and again go back to our um, antenna two dummy load only, we again can see we have only that one phantom line and a tiny, tiny bit of fuzz going across. And if we go up to the 50 megahertz line, and again, switch over to the dummy load, we again are seeing only that phantom line. And coming up there, we can see our si true signal moving across the display but that phantom line doesn't move at all. Uh, okay, we'll take that fast off and we'll add a, a little audio and turn off the auto, get right into this. Dial in as close as I can. To 15 megahertz on the dot. Okay. And we have a pretty clear signal. Even let's go turn the scope off and check out our noise. We can probably. Select. Mm. So there you have it. We have a pretty clean signal. Our firmware has been fully upgraded uh, several times. And I don't know how to get rid of this uh, phantom signal. And if I go back over to auto just for fun and, uh, oh, sorry, turn auto off and go over to this phantom signal and then put auto back on. Um, we don't actually tune into that phantom signal. Instead, the phantom signal stays there. It's actually more pronounced on some of the higher frequencies. If I go to 50 megahertz, and go back to our um, antenna number one where we have uh, an actual antenna plugged in uh, we can see that there's quite a quite a phantom signal and that's probably because my real antenna isn't well tuned for 50 megahertz and we don't see any other true good signals out there just a little noise but that's the problem, and I would like a fix. Likely the problem started when I upgraded the firmware in the first place. So I'm hoping to get uh, some opinions from all y'all out there, and also from Yesu Tech Support. I will update the video channel on YouTube with my um, conclusions. Thank you.